thought you'd resort to hurting a child just to get at me. Lucy will be far better off without you. She loved visiting me. And don't blame me for what happened this afternoon. Shirley Ryan gave you every chance to explain yourself. You just blew it. I wouldn't have had any trouble with the woman if you hadn't poisoned her mind against me. And don't start abusing me either. I've toughened up quite a lot lately. You mean you've thrown all your morals out the window? No. I just mean I'm not turning the other cheek anymore. So when you start lashing out at me, you can expect to get the same back. Even if your precious children's home misses out? I'm way ahead of you, Patricia. I knew the money would dry up when they took Lucy away from you, so I told Shirley I'd endow the wing. Actually, I'm very grateful to you for giving me the chance to uh, publicly thank Dee. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be a wealthy woman today. The uh, plaque will read the Dee Morrell Memorial Wing. Got a nice ring to it, hasn't it? Don't you, Rick? You two really think you've got the better of me, don't you? But let me tell you, one slip and I'll be onto the police so fast. Oh, not that same old chestnut, Patricia. Oh, you've covered your tracks very well. But I know you're making those phone calls, and I suppose you're writing the notes. I mean, let's face it, he wouldn't have got past third grade. <laughs> oh, she knows how to charm a bloke, doesn't she? You're pathetic. Will you please go, Patricia? I really have had enough of you tonight. Well, I haven't finished with you. Oh, yes, you have. Get out of my house now. doing this to me. Heard a lot of people and got away with it. Till now. You're sick. barricaded the door. That won't keep me out for long. If you try anything, I'll scream my head off. Who's gonna hear you? These big old houses have thick walls and your grounds are so large there's no way your neighbors would ever hear you. But you're safe. For the moment. I forgot to mention. A drink might help. I assume you've taken a couple of pills to calm down. How do you know so much about me? I've been watching, waiting my chance. Oh, but it's all right. I'm going to make it easy on you. I'll wait till the pills and the booze knock you out. It'd be much better if you'd turn the heating back on. Oh, I've got a better suggestion. Why don't you come out here and get your coat still where you left it? Shut up. You know, I'm surprised you didn't end up back in the sanatorium when you found out about your sister's grave. Quite effective way of getting her attention, though, wasn't it? You miserable coward! Save your energy. You can't insult me. I'm not playing your games anymore. Come on in and finish it. There's nothing to stop you now. But don't expect me to make it easy for you. Uh, I'll choose a time, not you. Oh, you're not much of a man if you can only fight a helpless woman. 
Why take unnecessary risks? I'll come for you when there's no fight left. Oh, you'll be waiting a hell of a long time! You can forget about me going to sleep. I've never been more wide awake. And it's going to be light soon. And then the milkman will come and I'll scream my head off. You won't be capable of screaming by then. I wouldn't bet on it. You had no food last night. You're using up energy fast trying to keep warm. Oh, you, you know you can't last much longer. That's why you're trying to force the issue now. With such your bad luck, I'm too smart to fall for it. Well, I'll just have to think of something else, won't I? What do you think you're achieving by that? You're the smart one. You figure it out. <laughs>